Hi, I'm Chris Dunn with Observe Smart. I'm here today to show you a little bit about our patient monitoring and validation of compliance system. It's part of supporting Centerstone, our relationship with Centerstone, and we share a common bond, uh, keeping patients safe and finding new and innovative ways to ensure that there's compliance in, in patient safety around it. So the way the system works, patient wears this wristband and beacon which is highly secure and tamper resistant. The patients can swim in them, they can shower in them. Uh, the patients cannot take them off unless they are cut off by staff. And the reason why that's important is to, typically you're dealing with a non-compliant patient population. And for, to ensure their safety, we've designed this band specifically for that reason. What's nice about this band is it speaks directly to the tablet. In order to actually ensure observation, leadership sets the proximity that the uh, mental health technician uh, has to be within the patient to ensure that there's actual observation compliance so that they visually saw the patient and leadership can set those parameters to whatever they want. Nighttime settings and they're systematic and what that does is make the tolerances tighter because it's very important that the mental health technicians go into the room far enough to ensure that the patient is safe, that they're sleeping, chest is rising and falling, so on and so forth. It provides you a visual of the patient. So if there's shift change, people coming on on the weekends, they don't have to access the patient's wrist and that's very good for a number of different reasons. So what's nice about that is you have that visual, I can make that identification of who the patient is. That's essentially the information that we can provide up front to that staff member. Not only help the staff member understand how to deal with that patient, keep them safe, but also um, giving them more awareness of just generally what's going on in their particular unit. In order to affect an observation, if you can see on this screen here, you'll see that there's one record at the bottom that's actually muted out. The reason why that's muted out is because I don't, I am not close enough to those particular patients. As they get close enough to that patient, then it would highlight. I can't click on that patient there and do an observation because I'm not close enough to them. Any of these I can because I actually am close enough. So when that comes, when I click on that record, now I get another dialog box with a number of drop downs. I can make a selection of where they are, and then I can give indication of their behavior, and I can make that selection. As soon as I make that selection, that person goes back down to their 15-minute observation. What's nice about this system also is it has a lot of flexibility. So depending on the patient acuity level, we can make changes to the patient intervals. So if you think somebody needs to be on a tighter interval and make a seven minute monitoring or five minute monitoring, we can do those very easily and they're real time and flexible. You would actually have to tap on this three times. That would bring up an alert and that would go to a pre-designated supervisor to help with the assistance request but it's all managed uh, and coordinated as opposed to um, everybody dropping and going things and going to that particular request. Not only do the staff know their performance as it relates to keeping the patient safe in terms of the monitoring, but can also be monitored by the supervisors and understanding how well they're doing in their uh, compliance as well as uh, a number of other uh, statistical features uh, that determine quality of their performance.